this is Black History Month. One of the reasons that I'm here is to talk with you about Black History because a lot of things have changed. Because when I was a youngster, you and I couldn't go to school together. You and I couldn't go to school together. My parents hated your parents, your parents hated me. Because we didn't know. We didn't know. I could never do my homework with you guys. And if you saw me, you couldn't speak to me. But you probably wouldn't even see me because you were told not to look at me. We were that mean and that nasty to each other. And someone started to force a change in all that. And his title wasn't Grandmaster, but it was Doctor. You know who it was, don't you? Doctor who? Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Well, I'm so glad we had him. Wow. Because I think you're pretty cool. And I would want to do my homework with you guys. And I do want to know you. Now I can. Now I can. Dr. K wanted a situation where all of us could meet and grow together. And not make fun of each other because we look different, we act different. This uniform, nobody else in the whole school has this uniform. No one. And if someone made fun of me, it might even hurt my feelings so much that I forget about this and just go home because it hurt my feelings. Didn't happen. I'm here. Let me tell you a couple things. Um, my school's over by Ralph's. We talked about that. My school's been there longer than Ralph's, though. I moved in before Ralph's started. Yes, I'm old. I also moved in before Zamorano was built. This was dirt, guys. The whole playground area, the, all the rooms, dirt. I used to walk my dog over here almost all the time. And I was walking my dog over here and I heard heavy equipment. And the earth movers and the dirt movers and the cement trucks and electricians and cement and all that. I'm just walking my dog. What are you guys doing? He said, we're building a school. I said, you can't. You can't build a school because where am I going to walk my dog? Where am I going to walk my dog? What's the name of the school? That's what they said. They said, we're building Zamorano. And I said, Zama who? They said, Zamorano. And I said, okay. All right. I'll show you something. The first day Zamorano opened, guess who was here? Yeah. Me. Because I want to know who ran Zamorano. Because you might think that Mr. Richardson is the only principal I've known. No. Since day one, I've worked with every principal of Zamorano. Since Zamorano was built, I've met them all. I've worked with all of them. Yeah, I'm a good guy. I want to do presentations. So they said, okay, okay, we got a lot of kids. We'll see how good you are. So I talked to 400 kids. Then I talked to 500 kids. Then I talked to 800 kids. And on and on and on. And then I started speaking at events. The graduation. Grandparents' day. Teachers' day. Volunteer appreciation day. Every day that came up, Grandmaster Orange, are you available? Grandmaster Orange, oh, are you available? Yeah, I am. Because a teacher made a lot of difference in my life. A lot of difference in who I am. So anytime teachers call me and they ask me to come, the answer is always yes. yes. Always yes. Always, 
oh, never, it's never, oh, I'm busy, you can take care of the kid, I got something else. No. You're that important to me. And when I was your age, one of my school teachers was that important to me. It made all the difference in my life and how I think and how I grow and what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to be here. I'm supposed to talk to you. I'm supposed to be in uniform. I'm supposed to deliver a message. You know how much I get paid? Zero. 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 You paid nothing. But where's the advantage? In my heart and in my mind. And that's what I'm here to share. Something that's in my heart and something that's in my mind. You're important. And I'm really, 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 really glad to have the opportunity to meet you, see you, have you see me, know that it's okay to have this black ball headed guy in a martial arts uniform in your school and nobody gets hurt. Nobody gets hurt. In fact, I'm here to help. I'm here to help you. I'm here to help the staff. And I'm here to talk about some things. That's okay, isn't it? Okay. What grade is it? Oh my gosh. Boy, you guys are moving on, aren't you? <laughs> You're moving on. You are moving on. So, I've spoken at the fifth grade graduation. I like career day, though. I really like career day. Okay. 